So the first thing I'm doing to prepare for my gargoyle clay piece is to create the back layer that I'm going to be building the piece up from. So pretty much the base of the piece. So I'm starting off with a chunk of clay and I'm using a glass jar to roll out the clay as evenly as I can, trying to make sure that it's all about the same thickness. And then I'm going through and cutting at the shape that I want the base to be. At this point, I'm going to start building the physical shape of the head for my gargoyle. So I'm going to be creating a pinch pot. So the first thing I'm going to do is take a ball of clay and I'm going to try to make it as round as possible. And then I'm going to be inserting a finger and making a small hole that I can then fit my thumb into. And from there, I'm going to gently apply pressure from the inside of the ball of clay while supporting it on the outside and pinching it and rotating it in my hand and eventually it's just going to start getting bigger and bigger. You want to support it so that your pinch pot doesn't end up um, uneven or getting too wide at the top and then being too shallow at the bottom. So you want to try to keep it as consistent as possible as you are evening out the walls of your clay pot. At this point, I've decided that I'm going to make the base of the head a hollow ball of clay. So I went ahead and I made a second pinch pot or like little pinch bowl that I is about the same size as the other pinch pot. And this is where I'm going to attach the two pots together to create a full sphere. So what I'm doing is I'm going in and I'm using a toothpick or some kind of sharp object and I'm creating little scratches along the edge of the pot. This is gonna act like Velcro, where when you place it with the other pot that also has those little scratches, it's gonna help them stick together. I'm now using my slip, and I'm going in, stirring it up really well so it's not all chunky, and then I'm applying it to one of the pinch pots all along the edge of it. You don't wanna add too much clay so that it's like globbing off of the side, uh, but you want to add enough so that it can act as a glue and bind the two sides together. Once you have the two halves of your sphere put together and you're happy with the shape, you can go ahead and use either a finger or a utensil and start to create little marks to drag the clay across the ridge, like the two where the two pots meet. And from there, you can then use your finger and you can smooth it out so it's a nice, smooth ball. I've decided that the shape of my gargoyle's head is a little bit more oval, and I want to make sure that the backside of my clay sphere is flat. So I gently tapped it on a surface to just flatten out that backside and to try to gently shape the ball into a more oval shape. And then I'm placing it on my base and just making sure that it fits on there and I'm happy with the way it looks and I'm covering up any holes that I've accidentally like burst out of my sphere when I was tapping it gently on the table. I'm then tracing where I want my ball to sit on my base and then adding in my scoring so that I can then add in slip and repeat the process that I did before. So I'm going to lay down my slip. And then I'm going to gently place my clay sphere on top of that. This next step, I'm going to be taking a ball of clay and I'm going to roll it out into like a clay snake. And I'm going to use that around the edge where my ball or my sphere of clay and my base meet and this is going to help to really like bind the two together so that it doesn't fall off. 
So I'm just adhering it, dragging the clay so that it goes up onto the sphere and onto the base, and then I'm smoothing it out. Think of it as tape in the clay world. 